Hey y'all, Taylor here. Welcome back to the channel. And in today's video, I'm taking a look at this UPS, short for Uninterrupted Power Supply from Golden Mate. This might look like your typical UPS with four household style outlets on the back, an LCD screen on the front, pure sine wave signal, and being capable of providing 800 watts of power to connected devices in the event you lose power. So what makes this different from something like this UPS from CyberPower? It all has to do with what's on the inside. Golden Mate has been dedicated to making lithium iron phosphate batteries, which are safer, more environmentally friendly, and last longer than lead acid batteries, which are typically found in UPSs like the CyberPower. So Golden Mate stuck one of their lithium iron phosphate batteries inside a UPS, which means this 1000 VA 800 watt UPS has a lifespan of at least 10 years. It's not the only lithium based UPS on the market, but at $169.99 US, it is definitely one of the most affordable. Let's find out if it's any good. This video is not sponsored. However, Golden Mate did send me this for review. I have complete creative freedom over how I construct this video and Golden Mate sees this video the same time it goes live here on the channel. If you're interested in the Golden Mate UPS, I have an affiliate link in the description below. Let's start with what's in the box. You get the Golden Mate UPS, a power cord, and a manual. Outside the UPS, there is a power button on the front flanked by two indicator lights. These light up to represent different things happening with the UPS, including debug codes that are documented in the manual. Directly above that, you have an LCD screen which provides you with multiple readouts. Unplugged, you've got input on the left with 25 watts going into the UPS, which is charging the battery and output is blank since nothing is plugged into the back of the UPS. Turning on the UPS gives you a nice little beep and then expands the LCD to display the volts alternating current from the wall, which is 120 volts here in North America. You also get a power line icon up here to let you know that your UPS is receiving power. Plugging something into the back of the UPS will make a new watt display on the screen, which indicates how much power is being provided out to devices. Because there's a battery inside, unplugging the UPS will still provide power and also show a new icon, which is a graph, or it could be a heartbeat sensor, to let you know the battery is currently supplying power to the four ports on the back. Moving on to above the LCD screen, the rest of the front is covered in vents. There's no controls to mute the beeping while on battery or to change the display to see different stats like time remaining before the battery fully depletes. It would have been nice if this screen allowed you to cycle through more info like you typically see in other UPSs in this price range. At the back of the UPS, there's the four NEMA 515P outlets, which are tilted slightly. These are flanked by more vents and there is a fan inside to pass air through the system. Below that, there's a breaker switch in the event an overload happens and a port with a covering which has this connector that I've never seen before. This is labeled as a communication port for debugging purposes, which Golden Mate explicitly calls out in the manual, can't communicate with the server. So completely useless to you and me, but at least it's not communicating with the server because we wouldn't want that, would we? Finally, below that is where you plug the Golden Mate into the wall. Strangely, there's no USB or serial to connect to a computer like on most UPSs of this size and price point. That would have been really nice to see so that this UPS can communicate with the computer in the event you lose power and want to trigger a shutdown automatically while you're away. The Golden Mate will supply battery power to all four of these ports. One thing that you'll see on other UPSs that is not present here is the addition of ports that are not battery powered but still have surge protection. That would have been nice to see here as you'll probably fill up these four ports rather quickly. The outside of the Golden Mate is pretty basic. Minimal buttons and minimal LCD screen. It's basically what you see is what you get. The UPS gets way more interesting on the inside and that's because of that lithium iron phosphate battery. One of the most immediate physical differences you might notice is just how much lighter the Golden Mate is compared to this cyber power. The cyber power feels like you're picking up a chunk of lead and that's because you are. The cyber power uses lead acid batteries like the ones you'd find in a car with an internal combustion engine whereas the Golden Mate 
uses lithium based batteries similar to what you'd find in your smartphone. Now this isn't the same lithium battery that's in your smartphone because this uses lithium cobalt oxide for its chemical makeup. So what's the difference between all these? For starters, lithium iron phosphate batteries have much larger endurance figures than lead acid. Golden Mate claims the lithium iron phosphate battery in this UPS can last 10 years or more and endure over 3000 deep cycles, whichever one of those comes first. Lead acid batteries usually need replacement after only three years, which means the Golden Mate UPS can last you so much longer, meaning less money over time. Lithium iron phosphate batteries also have safety advantages over the lithium cobalt oxide battery in your phone. Iron phosphate based lithium batteries have more stable chemistry than cobalt oxide batteries. Cobalt oxide batteries can be violent when exposed to extreme conditions like excessive heat and puncture damage, whereas iron phosphate remains structurally stable when exposed to these extreme conditions. In fact, lithium iron phosphate is one of the safest lithium batteries ever created. Now, I won't be exposing the Golden Mate to any extreme situations in this video, but if you're interested in learning more about the technology, I'll have the links in the description below. The Golden Mate also has a fan for cooling the system and a BMS for keeping thermals in check. We'll get to that fan later in the video because it does have some quirkiness to it. Right now, I think it's time to see the Golden Mate in action. I'm going to hook up my LG C2, my PS5, and my gaming PC, which has a 3080 Ti and a 7800 X3D, to see how the Golden Mate handles all these power-hungry devices. Since the LG C2's plug is angled, these tilted plugs on the back of the Golden Mate really come in handy for keeping the cord out of the way of other plugs. And with everything connected, I'm going to unplug the Golden Mate and see just how long it lasts on battery. The change over time from wall power to battery is super fast at 20 milliseconds, which is fast enough to keep everything powered on safely when the wall power is lost. As for how long the Golden Mate lasts on battery, I recorded 15 minutes and 34 seconds while having a YouTube video on the PS5 running in the background and playing Modern Warfare 3 on my gaming PC. The battery almost lasted two full games of multiplayer, so you'll have plenty of time to conclude your match if your power goes out. During that time, the devices drew almost the full 800 watts of power, and I probably had some headroom for another low power device if I really wanted. The ceiling became much lower when I just powered the PS5 and the LG C2, not my gaming PC. I didn't test the time it takes to discharge, but I imagine consuming less power will mean the battery will last you longer than the 15 and a half minutes that I experienced when my gaming PC was connected. As for recharging, well, that takes a bit longer. I left the UPS charging overnight. It is on 10 hours, 35 minutes and 32 seconds. And it's still not fully charged. It has one more bar to go. So, Recharging takes a little bit of time. I had mentioned earlier that the fan is a little quirky and that's because it'll randomly spin up to full power and it's quite audible. I was watching an episode of House of the Dragon and the fan was pretty distracting being directly under the TV. I'm sure if it was away from the TV, it would have been quieter, but I find it strange that there isn't a better fan curve on the Golden Mate to prevent the fan having to power on to full, and especially that it just seemingly happens at random times. Hey there, Editing Taylor chiming in here real quick. I know my face is kind of hard to see, the lighting in my room isn't great, but I'm here editing the video and I moved the Golden Mate into my room, which my room isn't very big. And what I'm noticing is that the Golden Mate emits this smell, which is kind of unpleasant. And I don't know if this is just because it's new and there's like this smell, but it's kind of distracting while I'm editing this video. Like I've had to get up and exit my room to get like fresh air because the air is just smelly and it's annoying. I thought I would mention that because it's just something that I noticed while I was editing. And I wanted to let you guys know that you might experience this as well. 
So while the Golden Mate looks pretty basic and does lack some physical features that you'd find in other lead acid based UPSs, like a more customizable LCD screen and additional ports, you do get an extremely long lifespan at 10 years, 800 watts of battery power, and you don't have to pay the premiums that other brands are offering for their lithium based UPSs. After having used the Golden Mate hands-on for a while now, I see where the $169.99 US becomes really compelling for folks who value longevity, safety, and power over everything else. The Golden Mate also has a five-year warranty, and if that sounds like something you're looking for in a UPS, be sure to check out my affiliate link down below. Thank you so much for watching. Leave a like if you like the video and subscribe if you want to see more. I'll see you in the next one.